Yo, what's up? I'm Mullet Sharp here and bringing you guys another video. This is going to be a short little informational video that a lot of you guys might know about. Uh, some of you guys might think you know about it, but don't really. Uh, some of you guys probably just don't know about it at all. But uh, this is going to be a little tip mostly for search and destroy. This also works in hardpoint and stuff. But I'm going to show you guys the trick on how to run farther. Now, uh, you guys remember the trick in Black Ops 1 where you brought your pistol out and you ran and you ran faster. But in this game, you run farther. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to start every time from this position right here. And I'm just going to run right down the middle. I'm going to show you. So when you first spawn, what you want to do is bring out your knife before you even start sprinting. You don't want to sprint at all. So usually, you know, you'll spawn back here. You'll have your gun. And you're going you're gonna to have to walk for a second and then bring out your knife and then start running. It, 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 it might seem dumb that you're not sprinting right off the go, but it will help. So what you're going to want to do, bring out your knife. Walk a little, bring out your knife, and then sprint. Now I'm going to show you guys the difference on how much farther you go. So on this class, I have lightweight and extreme conditioning, and let's go up the middle and see how it works. So you'll see that I will get a lot farther than I will with this. <coughs> so I was able to run all the way to their Lambo without even stopping. So now let's go back and let's see... Also, I'll walk all the way back so I can get my sprint back. Uh, let, let's see how far I go with running with the gun out, having lightweight and extreme conditioning. I'm going to go right back on that black spot. I'm going to run with my gun out, and let's see how far I go. So let me just wait a second make sure I get my sprint fully back. While we wait, look at that fear logo on the back of that gun, dude. Tell me that ain't sick. Look at it shining. Swing! Look at it. That is sick right there. Alright, so probably got my sprint back. Now let's see. <clears throat> so we're gonna sprint with the gun. Let's see how far we can go. Uh you guys saw last time I got all the way to yellow or all the way to the red Lambo. And this time I stop all the way at these stairs. So pretty much double what I can do with the lightweight and extreme conditioning and bringing the knife out. Now let's go back <clears throat> and a lot of people think that I think a lot of people think that you run faster, but you don't really run faster, you run farther. It's not faster. Uh, it, it, it's a farther distance to run. But uh, what a lot of people I'll see do is, you know, they'll be sprinting with their gun out and then they'll switch to their knife and think it's going to work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. You run, you, it, whatever you start sprinting with first is how far you're going to run. So watch, I'll show you guys. So let me just walk around for a bit. <clears throat> Catch my breath. My dude's been running. Hefty running. Uh, and this, like I said, is mainly good for S&D. Uh, I would say on this map, you know, you get in club. Uh, I don't really... If you have extreme conditioning and lightweight on, I don't recommend that you that you do this trick to run in club because you're not going to run out of sprint. By the time you get in club and get into that gunfight, uh, you're just going to already be in there. You don't need to run with your knife out. So, all right. Got my sprint back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start running with this. I'm going to switch out to the knife. So... So a lot of people do that. They take like their first three steps sprinting with the gun and then they switch to the knife. And it doesn't work. You run the same distance as you do with the with the gun out. But now, actually, honestly, I, I've never tried this and I want to test it out. I want to see what happens if you start sprinting first with the knife and then switch to the gun. Uh, so you, so you, know, you already have your gun already out and ready and you're not getting caught you know, switching as soon as you get to the spot. So a lot of people get that wrong. They 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 start running with the gun out, <clears throat> and then they switch to the knife, and that's just kind of a waste. You're not really doing anything, uh, so it, it's just a waste of time. Uh, and I'm, after this, I'm going to test it also with a. All right, I have a pistol class, but I'll probably use I'll use this. Actually, crossbow doesn't work. And I'll just use one of these classes with a pistol and retest the whole thing. So what we're going to do is start sprinting with the knife. And then switch to the gun and run. Let's see. All right, that was Maganda. Does it do that all, all the time? Hold on, let me try that again. All right, I don't know what was that. My sprint button was broken. All right, so as you see, all right, that does work. So that works a lot better. So yeah, whatever you start sprinting with first. So if you start sprinting with the knife first. Then it's gonna you're gonna run as far as the knife will take you, which is all the way to Red Lambo. If you start sprinting with the gun and switch to the knife, then it's just pointless. It's a waste of time. Don't even do it. Uh, so you guys seen it here first. Actually, I don't know if anyone's done a video about it, but like I said, a lot of people probably know about this. Sub Justin Bieber. 
Um, a lot of people probably know about this, but a lot of people probably thought they knew about it because I see people all the time. Even even Ricky, I call Ricky out on all the time. I see him like start running with a gun and then switch to his knife like this, and I'm like, you're just that's a waste. You're not doing anything. So let me actually. I don't know how you kill yourself on this on this map. This cheeks make a nah. All right, I'll just use this class. Um, how do I blow? How do I like? What do I do here? Oh, I can jump off the side. All right. Body rack. Oh. <laughs> All right. So let's see what the pistol. Pistol out. Now I don't have extreme conditioning on. I don't have extreme conditioning, but I have lightweight. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna run with this class, see how far I can go without extreme conditioning and a pistol, and then I'm gonna go to this class with lightweight and flight jacket with but no pistol and run with a knife. See if pistols work is the same as knives. So we'll see how far I can go with this baby. Alright, so I got pretty much like right here. Uh now let me go get my Let's see. All right, switch to this class that has a knife, and we'll see. So I was pretty much like halfway, you know, past the blue Lambo. We'll see. Uh, it'll be a big difference if there is any. I'm pretty sure there is. I'm pretty sure the pistol doesn't let you run uh, as far as, like, how it worked in Black Ops 1. The pistol doesn't work like that. It works like a primary. So start running. The base keep running, 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 running. Yeah. So that, even without extreme conditioning, I ran all the way to the bottom of these stairs. With extreme conditioning and lightweight, I got to the top of these stairs, running with an SMG. So you see how much of a difference that makes and how much it helps. So uh, I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, if it was helpful and inform informative, then leave a comment let me know. Um, I'm also going to keep you know doing the hardpoint videos and the call-out videos. And I've been live streaming. Uh, you'll see this video up before I turn my live stream on tonight. I'm actually going to be playing in a 2v2 ICM with Ricky and the 4v or the 3v3 Weekly Warfare semifinals and finals. So be sure to check that out. Um, and watch out, maintenance area, authorized personnel only, a warning. All right, I don't even know why I read that, but it was like the first time I've seen that sign. I always wondered why there's like little food boxes laying around, like motherfuckers just be eating and shit. But if you guys like the video, then give it a like, uh, add it to your favorites, do whatever, tweet it out. Um, I don't know, I don't really know why I showed you guys this, because now you're going to be using it on me. This is your boy Sharp, I'm out, peace.